people come from all over the world to this part of Scotland to have their stills made. On site, they've got stills ready to go to Mexico, Taiwan, Scandinavia, Scotland itself. We are coppersmiths. Copper is actually an integral part of the process of making whiskey. We take flat plate and work it into these beautiful shapes. They've spent the last year putting our stills together. The stills themselves have up to 1,500 man hours each. You can tell by looking at them that they're a real labor of love and a real craft. Once these are all loaded up and we've strapped them up and secured them and we're happy that they're ready to go, we'll head off. Really, it's a one-off and it's quite an exciting journey for me because I've never done anything like this before, but hopefully we'll get it there in one piece. It is a, a special load, a very precious cargo, um, so we're hoping that we can deliver it safely and, uh, and get it down the road, which I'm sure we can. Coming into Wooler today has just been absolutely amazing. The number of people who've been out on the streets, the support is absolutely incredible. When you saw the two Artics driving through the high street with all the people waving, and I have Jake who's worked with us for 50 years and Naomi, our daughter, driving the other truck, it was very emotional. And to see those stills coming down, the gleaming copper and the lovely sunlight that we've, we've got today. It's the heart and soul being put into this project. To stand on the high street in Wooler and see so many people out there on the street has been absolutely incredible. It was like a carnival and I just can't say how very proud I am. It's a really, really important moment for us at Agefren. It's not just a building site anymore. Once the stills arrive, it is a distillery. This place is in my blood, and it's like a rebirth. Everything's sort of come together to be a fantastic day, but this journey's just beginning. We hope that this is going to regenerate this area and give more investment to North Northumberland where it's really needed. It's the beginning of a new journey, a very important journey for us all.